Welcome to the course on Deep Learning in Practice 3 on Face Recognition. I am Anis Kuba and I will be your instructor in this course. This course is the third course in the series Deep Learning in Practice. It provides a fast and easy to follow introduction to face recognition with deep learning using MTCNN for face extraction and FaceNet for face recognition. My two previous courses deal with object classification and transfer learning with TensorFlow and Keras. So let's get started with the face recognition application. This is a simple demonstration that we've developed in the Robotics and Internet of Things lab, where we use face recognition to open the door of the lab to authorized users. This is just one possible example among hundreds of others, where we can use the face as a biometric information to provide access or also for general surveillance systems. I have been working on developing several applications using face recognition, including surveillance, attendance systems, and access control. In this course, you will learn the fundamental concepts of face recognition systems, and you will be guided to build your own face recognition application. So in this course, you will learn the whole loop of face recognition systems, which starts by extracting the face from an image and localize the face in an image by its bounding box. Then we process the extracted face through a convolutional neural network called FaceNet in our case to create a fingerprint of the face, which we call face embedding. The face embedding can be stored in a database so that they are compared with other face embeddings to identify the person of interest. In this course, you will have a step-by-step -step introduction to this whole loop, and I will show you how you can develop a Python application that performs the aforementioned operations. I'm Anis Kuba, and I'm working as a full professor in computer science and the leader of the Robotics and Internet of Things lab at Prince Sultan University. I am the author of the two bestseller courses on deep learning and also robot operating system. And this course is the third course in the series Deep Learning in Practice, which deals with face recognition systems. The series Deep Learning in Practice intends to present advanced deep learning topics in a very easy manner to beginner users who would like to get started with hands-on project in deep learning in a minimum amount of time. The two previous courses were dealing about object classification and transfer learning projects. This course is important due to the importance of face recognition systems in reward applications. These systems are fast growing and are used in several applications such as surveillance systems, face access systems, and biometric identification. In this course, you will get introduced to face recognition systems both from theoretical and practical perspective, which will allow you to develop your own projects using face recognition in Python. The motivation behind the course is that there is a lack of resources to get quickly started with the topic. So taking this course, you will save tons of time looking for scattered references over the internet and it will get you much quicker into the field. The course provides a fast yet comprehensive coverage of face recognition systems that would let you go from zero to hero. I first start with presenting the fundamental concepts of face recognition systems and how deep learning models of face embeddings are trained and produced. Then I provide a hands-on introduction to face recognition using MTCNN for face extraction and FaceNet for face recognition, all with Python programming language. TensorFlow and Keras APIs will be used to load the FaceNet model. I provide a Google Colab notebook that you will use as a guide in the lectures to follow and write the code so that you apply as you learn. At the end of this course, I guarantee that you understand the whole loop of face recognition systems and you will be able to develop your application and integrate it into your projects. To take the most benefit from this course, you just need to know about Python programming. Having a basic understanding of deep learning and TensorFlow would be a plus, but it is not mandatory. In any case, you may refer to my two courses in Deep Learning in Practice 1 and 2 for a basic and practical introduction on deep learning. Welcome to the course and I wish you a pleasant learning experience. Let's get started.